Grandpa in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister and Grandpa. Oh, and here's Grandpa's dog, Beowulf. The thing about Grandpa is that he's always fun. We read Captain Dumble twit stories. And his racket sprung out of the side of the spaceship. Yes. We play lots of games. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> One of the things I like doing best with Grandpa is making pictures. <laughs> we share our ice cream. <laughs> and Grandpa is always like this. <laughs> It was a Saturday afternoon. I was playing a quiet game of Snap with Grandpa. It had to be a quiet game because there was a special visitor in the corner. A baby. We were looking after him while his mum and dad were at a wedding. And Mum had said to us... No noisy games, you two, OK? Baby Boris needs his sleep. Baby Boris is very funny. He does this, and this, and sometimes this. But he's always smiling and laughing and having fun. That's why we'd all been looking forward to the day the baby came to stay. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Jemima loves babies. So does Grandpa, especially when they're asleep. Snap! Whoa! -ho! Shh. We held our breath, thinking we got away with it, and that Baby Boris was still sleeping. But then, <coughs> Mom! Grandpa woke the baby. <coughs> oh, Grandpa! Sorry, Baby Boris. <coughs> We tried to carry on with our game, but Baby Boris cried louder and louder and louder. Grandpa couldn't stand it. Beowulf couldn't stand it. What could possibly be upsetting him so much? Jemima was pulling funny faces to try to make Baby Boris laugh. But obviously it wasn't working. There's nothing for it. If Jemima can't cheer him up, then I will. All it needs is a touch of Grandpa magic. Not the shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Grandpa, come back! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go... Grandpa, stop! on Gordon, my toy seagull. Wee! 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 <laughs> Not the plane, Grandpa. He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, come back here. Grandpa, watch out. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap. Everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down when he's missing. And he was missing now. Is he OK, Mum? That's fine. Where's Grandpa? Gone for a little lie down, I suppose. I thought he'd want to play with baby Boris. That was exactly what Grandpa wanted to do. I had to get rid of Mum and Jemima. I know. Why don't we do a show for him? Yes, he'll love that. I'll go and get Malcolm and Petunia. Mum, I think baby Boris is hungry. Are you a teeny bit hungry, hungry, baby Boris? Shall I make you something yummy, scrummy for your tummy, wummy? <laughs> I'll make him some lunch. You keep an eye on him, please, Jason. The person I really needed to keep an eye on was Grandpa. I had a feeling he would pop out at any moment. Grandpa! Oh, well done, Jason. You've cheered him up. 
Just then, Grandpa popped up again. Won't be long now. As soon as Mum had gone, I decided to move to Jack in the Box. You've got to get out. This is way too dangerous. I can't stop now. I'm making baby Boris laugh. We can do the show from behind the sofa. Come on, Jason. But there was no time to argue. Mum kept popping in to check on baby Boris. And I kept popping up to check on Grandpa. But he disappeared. Jason, come here. Hello, baby Boris. I'm Petunia, the purple elephant with the very long trunk. And this is my friend, Mark and the monkey with the sticky out ears. It sounded like baby Boris was really enjoying the show. Say hello to baby Boris, Malcolm. One day, Petunia, the purple elephant with the very long trunk, was walking through the jungle. Stomp, stomp, stomp when suddenly she bumped into Malcolm the monkey with the sticky out ears. Whoop! <laughs> Jemima's shows are funny, but they're not that funny. I had to see what was going on. The good news was the baby was having a lovely time. The bad news was he was playing with Grandpa. Jason, I need you. <laughs> Morning, Malcolm said Petunia in a very loud voice. And Malcolm the monkey said... I had to do something. Baby Boris was about to throw Grandpa across the room. I had to stop him. And Malcolm the monkey said... Wee! Wee! But I was too late. What was that? Sounded like a squeaky dog toy. But it wasn't a squeaky dog toy. It was a squeaky Grandpa. Luckily, he wasn't hurt. And Malcolm the monkey said... Oh, I give up! Hello, sweetie. Shall we get something yummy scrummy for your tummy wummy? Jemima decided she had enough of entertaining baby Boris, so she went upstairs to her room. As for Grandpa... I knew he had to be hiding somewhere, but where? You were so good at making baby Boris laugh, Jason. Or perhaps you can get him to eat. At first, he didn't want to know. Then suddenly, he started smiling, as if he'd just seen his favourite toy. And he had. Mum had a lot of washing up to do, so she didn't see Grandpa helping baby Boris. <laughs> You've got a real knack with babies, Jason. But baby Boris had the spoon now, and I knew there'd be trouble. Yuck! <laughs> oh dear. But I wasn't the only one who needed cleaning up. Do we need to change your nappy wappy? <laughs> the changing wasn't going very well. Baby Boris wouldn't keep still, and Mum couldn't remember how to fold a nappy. Then Baby Boris started laughing at something. Grandpa had come to the rescue yet again. That's it, Jason. Keep it up. Luckily, Mum didn't see Grandpa dancing on the shelf, ordering high kicks and twirls, or losing his balance and falling into the nappy bucket. There. All done. Before I could do anything, Mum picked up the nappy bucket and took it into the kitchen. Now, where did I put that washing powder? She was about to put Grandpa in the washing machine. I had to do something. I'll put the washing in, Mum. Oh, thank you, Jason. You've been such a help today. While Mum wasn't looking, I slipped Grandpa into my pocket. After I'd washed my hands, I dashed into the sitting room and put Grandpa down. He whipped his shrinking cap off and came back to his normal size. We were just in time. Baby Boris's parents had come to collect him. Hello. Hello. 
He's been no trouble at all. He's been good as gold. Let me help you get him into the car. We did it, Jason. Teamwork, eh? Yes, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Grandpa. I think you need a bath. Here we are, Wolfie. Have a yummy, scrummy, treaty weety. Yes. Well, I think we all did really well today looking after baby Boris. Grandpa didn't help. He was lying down the whole time. Yes? Slept like a baby. <laughs> <laughs>